anyone has any questions regarding the Marine Patrol, feel free to uh, speak up. So can we speak to the Marine Patrol budget first? Sure. sure. Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> Chief Spira here now. Um, so, you know, when we put together this Marine Patrol budget, and it was presented to the Board of Selectmen, and the Board of Selectmen endorsed it, um, clearly we thought that this was a budget for a program that was going to have a new vessel. Uh, it is obvious that uh, the referendum spoke loudly that we are not going to buy a new vessel in the way that one was initially proposed. So there can be some changes that are made to this budget. In fact, we can revert back to pretty much what we were doing the previous year because we have that vessel. What's happening in Marine Patrol now is I most likely am going to spend about $1,500 to have an independent, commercial, yet public safety person come out and survey the boat, a licensed professional, to give us the proper glimpse of the wear and tear, safety factors, the status of this piece of equipment. From there, I'll have a decision that I have to make as police chief. So last time we spoke about my passion for making sure that my personnel are safe, I need to do this study to make sure that I'm not deploying them in a piece of equipment that's not safe. Certainly aging, certainly needs to be replaced. How old is it? Uh, the boat is 20 something years old. 1992. So here's my issue, quite frankly. And I'm not looking to gr get great debate about this, but I've been coming to you and the Board of Selectmen uh, for a while now about the police boat. A couple years ago, someone said, go get a grant. We tried, we failed, we got one, it was celebrated, and then turned down. I don't know what else to do. I believe that the Marine community deserves policing. I think if you took a look, and Brad, you're great at doing this, so maybe I could ask you to do this for me. If you took a look at the grand list and how many people that either have waterfront property or own marinas or have something to do with the marine trade, how much they contribute to that grand list, I wonder if it's 50 or more percent. This community deserves to be policed. The only way I know how to police the waterways is by using a town asset called a boat. Between 10 and so I have to turn to you guys now and say, what would you like me to do? Because I need a new asset and I need your help. So that, sir, is our opening to Marine Patrol. So what would, the, what would last year's numbers be that we put in the budget? So you can take everything with the exception of personnel because there was a contractual increase there. And make it exactly the same. It is. Right. Uh, no, there's a, there's a couple adjustments that were made this year based on the new vessel, but we don't we don't need to do that. It, what I've done tonight is I've asked, you know, we talked a lot about that Marine Strategic Planning Committee. I've said very publicly, I'm not a boater. I don't own a boat. I don't profess to know a lot about boats. Um, but as all good leaders do, they surround themselves with subject matter experts. So my Marine Strategic uh, Planning Committee is here. They're kind of floating around in the, the audience. They couldn't, apparently didn't get tickets all together. Um, but they are here and I would love for the Board of Finance to interact with my subject matter experts and talk about the program and talk about where we're going. Because without each other, it's going nowhere. And that's not good. So I'm hoping to be a catalyst to conversation and that's it. Anyone have any questions? So, you know, I'll start off. So, it's a good question the Chief asked. So, uh, if, if we are inclined to have Marine Patrol, and if you are inclined to replace the boat, uh, I think you need to do that, uh, you know, we, perhaps do it over the course of two years. Uh, we could get competitive bids. We could uh, put some money away. If you want, we could put, you could take uh, as a starter, uh, if, if you were so inclined and wouldn't have to be done in the budget cycle. After the budget, take 30000 from the capital not recurring account. Then next year, budget 30 in the budget, you're up to 60 Do your RFP and, and then fund it, the rest with capital not recurring or, or, you know, it, there's a way to do it over, you could do it over two years. 
get you, you could probably get to about 120. I don't know if that suits their needs or not. Uh, so if we take the bids that came in, and we take off that C burn detector that no one likes, and we take off side scan radar, we're about at $310,000. Yeah.